Go family, I'm just back with another quick update. Man, you, you guys thought I, I'm done doing these updates? No, nah, man, I'm back at it. So as you guys see right now in the market, we're sitting at 2361. 2361 on Doge Line. Yeah, we're down 8%. And it's shaking out a lot of people in the space, which is good. I mean, it's sad to say, but it's which is good. Get them out because they're going to come back in and they're going to start buying the higher numbers. They're going to be buying the green candles, okay? But on Twitter today, as you guys see, market taking a bit of downturn. Hold on in dear life, your high conviction bags. We are in a bull run. It's not the time to sell. Next four to six months, it's probably better we don't do anything with our bags. Touch grass or buy Dojalon. So, as you guys see, Dojalon Warriors, raid this Warriors, Commander Ape. He says, This is only convenient for you because it has attention, Justin Suntron. Your exchange has hacked in November, and $10 million worth of your users' Dojalon Mars tokens are still missing. That's the same amount lost by Slurf, except it's your own users. Why don't you airdrop to them too? That's what I'm saying. They're not even doing that because why? They know the potential of Doge on Mars. He knows. I don't know why Justin Suntron is doing that. He knows Doge on Mars has a high potential of breaking out. And not just that. If they go ahead and purchase $10 million worth of Doge on Mars, that's automatically by itself. It's going to push the price a lot more higher. As you see, Doge on Mars also uh, said, hey, Justin Suntron, please take a look. But then two hours ago, breaking $1 billion worth USDT just minted in treasury at this Bitcoin dip. Pump is loading. If you guys are scared to buy into these markets where these institutions are taking a major advantage of, this crypto space is not for you. It's not. And hopefully Thursday I could go ahead and buy me some more Doge Alarm Mars. I'm trying to get me a billion because uh, I know how much profit that I'm going to be seeing. And it's going to be a whole lot more. So Ash Crypto, he said, why BlackRock? asset fund will pump ethereum blackrock has introduced a new tokenized asset fund on the ethereum blockchain it has also deposited a hundred million dollars worth of usdc on ethereum now for every activity on ethereum blackrock needs to buy ethereum to pay for gas fees like how dojalon and the, uh rufus how dojalon will be you know the gas fee to get on rufus the more activity there will be, the more ETH buying will happen. Also, with every ETH transaction, a portion of ETH gets burned, which will make ETH more deflationary. This will lead to a parabolic pump for Ethereum. And you guys know we're on the Ethereum blockchain. BlackRock pumped our Bitcoin bags. Now it will pump our ETH bags too. So with that being said, it's going to pump Doge on Mars. A lot more higher but we again we have not seen anything shout out to peter h demandis as you guys know he's connected with methuselah foundation he's been working with methuselah foundation he's been dealing with dan goble he has been dealing with longevity led to life extension and as you guys see <clears throat> elon tech demo elon delivered a keynote to the abundance summit membership over x video over starlink while on his airplane and as you see this is peter and that's elon right there elon knows about dogelon that's the thing i don't understand like what people are not seeing elon knows about dogelon so as you guys see on coin market cap we're sitting at 23.57 down by eight percent this is where you want to get in. And, and and the thing about it is this, man. With me looking at the chart, the further we go, the climber, we're going to go up higher. Like what I told you, 
And you guys seen that tweet. I posted that tweet a while ago. I was like, please. I know I, I know everybody wouldn't like it, but we need Doge Mars to go back down to 15 to 1700s. And, you know, I got some feedback on it. A lot of people was like, no, nah, crypto, we don't need to do that. But I, this is our posted on March 13th. I'm sorry, guys, but I need Doge Mars to go to 1500. <laughs> because if you guys already seen the profits that you made at 1300, you're definitely going to see profits when you go out, when you're buying at these levels, and we're going to go up a lot more higher. All right. But as you guys see in the chart, we'll be going down. If we go down, I don't think we're going to break the 1700 level. We may, you know, touch the 18 to 1900 levels and shoot back up and just have that little up and down roller coaster. But once April pass, we're going to see something crazy. This is the reason why they are shifting and making people sell because we're close to the Bitcoin having. This is a time where you want to buy your discounted bags. Of course, there's a lot of hate. People don't want to go ahead and, you know, hold and this and that. But I mean, go, go, go to the stock, stock market, stock market looking crazy too. But you're going to see exponential gains. That's the main thing that I'm talking about right here. We're going to see it. We're going to delete these zeros. As long as you guys have faith of what you're holding, you have no worries. Because I definitely have no worries of what I'm holding. And just looking at the holder chart and the list of holders and why crypto.com is one of the biggest holders of Doge Lawn, all, all that means is we're going up, family. So this, this was just a quick update. I appreciate you guys tapping in, locking in with me. But I'll be back with another video tomorrow morning. Y'all have a great day. Peace out, family.